In most major sports, the better your team does during the season, the higher your draft pick in the following year's draft. So when you do as much winning as the Yankees do, it's rare to have an early first round draft pick in which the talent is more projectable. And even when the Yankees have picked number one, it didn't work out too well. However, the Yankees have made some pretty good draft picks over the years. Let's take a look at the top five New York Yankees draft picks. Number five, Don Mattingly. Donnie Baseball was drafted by the Yankees in the 19th round of the 1979 June Amateur Draft out of Evansville, Indiana. I know batting average doesn't get as much love as it used to, but it's worth noting that Mattingly hit 349 in his first minor league season at just 18 years old and then 358 with a 920 OPS in his second pro season. By 1984, Mattingly was in his first full season as the Yankees starting first baseman and he earned the nickname the Hitman, picking up 207 hits and 44 doubles to go along with a batting title. Mattingly was the 1985 MVP, and in 14 years with the Yankees, he became a six-time All-Star and won nine gold gloves. He would eventually be named the Yankees captain and become one of the most beloved athletes in New York sports history. His number 23 is still one of the Yankees' top-selling jerseys and is retired in Monument Park. Number 4, Andy Pettit. Andy Pettit was drafted by the Yankees in the 22nd round of the 1990 MLB draft out of Deer Park, Texas. He made his Yankees debut in 1995 out of the bullpen against Kansas City, but would become one of the Yankees' most valuable starting pitchers down the stretch, leading the Yankees to their first playoff appearance in over a decade. In 1996, he finished second in the Cy Young voting after going 21-8 with a 3.87 ERA, pitching eight and one-third shutout innings to outduel Hall of Famer John Smoltz in Game 5 of the World Series. Pettit would go on to pitch 15 years with the Yankees and three with Houston. He finished his career with 256 wins and a 626 winning percentage. He was even better in the postseason, posting a 633 winning percentage in 44 games started. He won five World Series titles with the Yankees. Number three, Ron Guidry. The Louisiana Lightning was drafted in the third round of the 1971 draft from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Also known by the charming nickname Gator, Ron Guidry was one of the most dominant left-handed pitchers of the 70s and 80s. In 1978, his age 27 season, he was 25-3 with a 1.74 ERA and spun nine shutouts on his way to a Cy Young Award and a second place finish in the MVP voting. Guidry pitched his entire 14-year career with the Yankees, winning 170 games and posting a 3.39 ERA. His number 49 is retired in Monument Park. Number 2, Aaron Judge. If Aaron Judge never played another game for the Yankees, he would still be one of the most explosive draft picks the Yankees have ever made. Judge was drafted 32nd overall in the first round of the 2013 MLB Draft out of Cal State Fullerton. He made his Major League debut in 2016 when he hit a 459-foot home run in his first at bat. He would go on to win the 2017 Rookie of the Year and finished runner-up for MVP. In both 2018 and 2019, Aaron Judge missed significant time with injuries but still put up an impressive 11.4 wins above replacement. After smashing a rookie record 52 home runs in 2017, he has combined for 54 home runs in 2018 and 2019. He's also one of the best defensive right fielders in baseball and even has his own cheering section in right field. And number one, Derek Jeter. Jeter was taken with the Yankees' first pick, number six overall, in the 1992 June Amateur Draft out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Jeter would go on to have an amazing 20-year career with the Yankees, collecting 3,465 hits, 544 doubles, 68 triples, 260 home runs, 358 stolen bases, and made 14 All-Star appearances. 
The most important number of all though, he won five World Series rings with the Yankees. His number two is retired in Monument Park and he was elected to the Hall of Fame in January of 2020. Yeah, Jeets, respect. Honorable mentions go out to some other great Yankees draft picks, David Robertson, Brett Gardner, and Jorge Posada, all of which have had great careers with the Yankees. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.